Well, we're did you see that? Back again. I know, and we've got the finest camera people in the world here sitting out there blowing Pop, big bubbles bubble just before we went on. I'll swear. That was our cue. You don't, uh -huh, you don't see that on those uh, big full service networks, do you? <laughs> <laughs> don't have as much fun as we do. No, here. they don't. That's right. Yo, Dan Rather, he's all uh -huh. in you know, all the news. Well, oh, I we see have a good time. you haven't had a bath for a long time and you sprouted. <laughs> I thought this was kind of cute. Some of our, some of our, uh, you know, sometimes we go weeks in between things around uh -huh. here, and the onions have gone away from us. Uh -huh. They really have. Uh -huh. So I just thought I would wear it as a fine little corsage. They've, yeah, they've decided to grow and get get much larger. Nice little course size. Mm -hmm. And you can keep this in mind, boys and girls, all of you little boys and girls watching at home now, when mom and dad's little onions uh, get, uh, you know, when, Have when you they got start getting... burning over there on the stove? I hear something sizzling and popping. Maybe you'd I'll, I'll better be right go back. look. I'll be right back. I'll be right While, back. While uh, I carry on here, we're doing, uh, oh, incidentally, in case uh, you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm Laban Johnson. I'm and the fly. one that has just burned his... Uh, dish. No, 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 no. no. That was have, water in the pan sizzling, wasn't it? I have some margarine and it's just kind of oh. bubbling a little bit. Oh, but I it see. Hurt it. It'll get real black and brown and I'll have to wash it all out, but see, there's a nice uh. shot of it. <laughs> but anyway, well, what happens is I think we're going to go on like that and then sometimes you fall and, and we uh -huh. have to pick you up. Yeah. And you know how it is. And what are we doing break, today? Uh, we're doing uh, German dishes and that's why it's called not German chocolate because everybody knows about German chocolate. Jawohl, jawohl. And we're doing things that uh, really kind of authentic German dishes too, not not phony baloney ones. These mm. are the real Wiener Schnitzel I'm doing, and a sauerkraut. And I'm dish. doing some kind of German pancakes, pancakes. Mm -mm -mm. which I'm so, not sure is real German. So but we've got I, a whole meal is, today. We've it? got a vegetable and a, a entree and a, and a dessert. I can hardly wait to get my tooth into. Oh, some I of it. know mm -mm -mm. what you mean. Mm -mm. Of course, they have been giving me a lot of grief around here because I, in preparation for what I'm doing, look at Maureen over there going like Billy Goat and holding her nose. It, my sauerkraut dish has onions, which are fragrant, and sauerkraut, which is very fragrant. Extraordinarily. And uh, the Venus stencil is going to have an anchovy on the side. Oh. Uh, or anchovy. I hate those things, and he gets them fish out, and slings them around. He gets I them on pizzas. He even gets them on pizza. I Ruins perfectly oh, good pizzas. Oh, give me a break. With anchovies. I love pizza with oh. anchovies. I know you love it too. That. Well, let's get over here and see what's going on. I'll start with this uh, sauerkraut so we can get it in the pan and, and it maybe it won't be quite as I got to pull this stuff out a little bit here because it's going to okay. get too We've hot. We've got just pans and pans of stuff. Uh, do you need this one? No. Oh, well, I don't either. Maybe we just put it over here. I'm heating up a little milk, a little warm milk on the side, just warming it just a tad little bit. Don't need to do much to it. Just a tad little warm milk is what this recipe calls for. That would be the greatest plenty. What? And in my pot, I've got a half a cup of sliced onions, and I'm going to add a quart of sauerkraut. So there it goes. And it, this is the easiest dish in the world to fix. One more can. This is two medium-sized cans of sauerkraut. Ooh, and it just smells so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go in there and get stirred around. That's two tablespoons of margarine down in the bottom. Uh huh. And to this, I'm going to grate an apple. So I'll just grate this in here. It'll be a very grating experience. Uh, ew, ew. And I'm not even going to peel it. Don't put that grater too far away. I'll be needing well, it myself I'd better after peel a while. It. Uh, maybe I'd better peel it. Look, it, what, our grater's not very sharp, is it? I don't believe so either. That, or that apple's real tough. Gosh, this, and this knife is one that lady sent us, and it, it's not too good for peeling either. You can't. The blade is so flexible. Good grief! Look at this. I'm embarrassed to, to peel this baby. What's the, wrong? Your hands no, are arthritic. No, the the blade is so flexible. Oh, I thought that arthritis it, had come back on. It's hard to control. On. No, arthritis is not one of the problems that I immediately deal with in my health. And I'm so glad to know that you're concerned about it. Oh, he makes me so tired sometimes, ragging me about the fact that my health is occasionally a little furry. Uh, occasionally. It's a miracle of television that he's standing before you this very day. <laughs> Believe me. Oh, well, now that's right, right slick the way you're doing that, slick. Mm-hmm. And this is just one apple, uh, and it's a Granny Smith. 
Oh, did you take hers again? I saw you uh -huh. over in her field earlier. Poor old granny. She so she can't run after you no more. Why did you choose a Granny Smith because while we're on the subject? they're tart and they're real firm and they're good to cook with. That's why. And it was available. So I have now grated this apple as much as it's going to get grated. Let me reach up in there and pull out the goodness that's left. And I'm going to stir this up. And all of this is going to cook together now for a few minutes. All there. together now. And then we'll add a couple of... Uh, flavorful spices to it. Now, if you want to work on something, you can. Okay, I'm going to take four eggs and separate them out. And I'm going to put the whites to the left and the yolks to the right. Those are the yolks, folks. I knew he'd say it. He always says it. it. Makes me mad, but he says it anyway. Now, I don't have one of those fancy separators. My mammy taught me to do it this way. Kind of grosses you out to do it this way, especially when <laughs> that thing don't want to let loose. How embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I just tripped over my mic cable and <laughs> now I'm to ruin myself. <laughs> That's one. We got to do four of them. Here goes the second one. Two. I'm not going to belabor this one like I did the last one. I grossed myself out. Okay, and Maureen, too. Well, Maureen has got where she's so easily grossed out. I know. I, don't know what I it saw is. her retching over some of the people she works with. And four. The yolks on one side, the whites on the other side. There we go. Now, we're going to beat those egg whites until they're stiff. They want to... Why are you standing back like that, Brian? Well, because when I'm real close to it, the microphone picks it up real loud. Oh. See, when I'm down here like this, it just gets unbearable back here in the control room, doesn't it? I guess. That's fluffing up real nice. Well, oh. while you're doing that, I'm going to add some wine to mine. What'd you say? I said I'm going to add wine to cover in the pan with the sauerkraut. Don't forget to put some wine in it. Okay. Oh, save a little. We might need it for a snake bite. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I see your snake bite medicine glass right over here. I'm sorry, folks, this is going to take a couple of minutes, and nothing I can do. You cannot hurry this process. I've got to beat them until they're stiff. Then we'll work on the other side of it in a couple of minutes. Well, while you're making a lot of noise, I'm going to beat some veal, okay? Did I hear you say you were going to beat some veal? Yes. Oh. I, I've got a piece of veal right here in between some, some plastic wrap. And I've got a frying pan, a cast iron frying pan, and I'm just going to... You just need to beat this stuff. I believe this has got to go down in history as the noisiest show we've ever done, Johnson. Probably so. All right, I have finally reached Stiff Peaks. Oh, is that in Utah? <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to get there, but I reached Utah. it. So there you go. Now this, is, this isn't that sweet stuff. This isn't like the stuff you put on pies. This is unsweetened. We're going to use it just to fluff this whole thing up in a minute. Oh. Okay, Johnson, back to you. Well, I'm still banging this veal. And this little frying pan is wonderful because it's got a a little rim around the bottom of it that keeps you from beating it all the way to, through to the other side. And there we go, there's... I have to admit that's a right neat idea though for as lo loud as it is. And that was some scraps of veal that I, I squashed uh, into one big piece for our Wiener schnitzel. And I've got one more piece here to go. So, and if you get over near the edge of the counter, it makes it easier. Get over there. 
Be careful, your uh, stuff is falling off the edge. Oh, this whole show is over the edge. <laughs> get back over there. That's Boy, you get a lot of frustration That's out. enough, Johnson. That's right. enough. I swear. Oh, that felt so good. All right. Now, I'm going to work on the I'll work on this a little bit. We're going to take two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch and put it in those egg yolks. Two tablespoons full of it. Stick that in now. And then a quarter of a cup of warm milk. A little of that in there. And a quarter of a cup of warm water. Hang on a second. I've got to get some warm water. And while he's doing that, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar to the sauerkraut. There we go. And I'm also going to put in some uh, caraway seeds here. Need about, oh Lord, this is, I, I appreciate being saved from all this misery of being poisoned by people, you know, nuts in the supermarket. But these little foil tops are worse than the than the little plastic shakers on stuff. This is about a, a tablespoon of caraway seeds. This sure is a noisy show, I swear. And now I've got all of that into my sauerkraut and we're just gonna let that cook on down some. Mm -hmm. Cook on mm -hmm. down the road. And my margarine is doing well and Larry, I'm gonna start just sauteing this veal in the margarine while you're continuing on there. Okay. Now what I did, of course, we have four yolks in here, and two tablespoons of of, uh, of uh, what is it? Cornstarch, and a quarter <laughs> cup of warm milk, quarter cup of warm water, and now I've added a little salt, and we need a tablespoon of sugar. Do you have some sugar over there? You don't. No, I don't. A tablespoon of sugar goes in this mess too. Boom. And then I also have to grind, uh, I'll have to uh, grate a rind of one lemon. Now that's gonna take a while. But see how that's, so I'm gonna do that right, right now, right for the moment. This is kind of the tough way to do it, but I'll do it this way anyway, because I don't have my other stuff over here. The rind of one entire lemon. It's real pretty. Oh, and it smells so good and it's aromatic. It's going to go down in there in that mess if I don't drop the whole thing or upset it first. Just turn that thing around and around and around until you get that rind off of that lemon. Be a good idea if you wash this lemon first, like I did before we started the program. You saw me do it, didn't I, you? I yeah, did. You did. I've never seen anybody wash it exactly the way you did. What, in I, a tub with uh, uh -huh. bubbles? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I like to treat my stuff But good. I guess if you can stand the uh, taste of it, Mr. Bubble is a cleansing agent. That'll... Okay. Do you ever take a Mr. Bubble? Reach bag? in there because there's a lot of rind in there. Do I ever what? Do you ever take a bubble bath in Mr. Bubble? I do not take tub baths. I don't have time for them. They're a waste of my time. Well, some of us were thinking I that it would showers. be nice if you took... Oh. I knew you were getting to it, so I shut you off at the pass. <laughs> and okay. Now, mix that in there. Now what we have to do is we have to fold the egg whites uh, into this mixture. So just put that in there, all of those egg whites, nice and thick, and we will just sort of fold that in and try and thicken this mess up a little bit because it is real powerfully thin. You're thickening of it, huh? Uh-huh. See that? Look at that. And we'll just continue to do that, and then we will, in a couple of minutes, we'll cook it on top of the stove in uh, partially covered in melted margarine and see how these things are. Now you gotta get your margarine, I would assume you have to get your margarine fairly hot. I don't know. 
Yeah, but I would assume that to be the case. I think Let me see a, if that's a fair. Do assumption. you think that would work? Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try and see what happens. How big do you make these things? Oh, I think that's plenty big. Let's just try yeah. one just for the fun of it. And you're supposed to partially cover it. I guess that's so it'll what? Yeah, so it'll steam a little bit. Steam a little mm -hmm. bit. I'll go ahead and do it. That You reckon it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to hold it for a couple of minutes. Well, with my uh, Wiener schnitzel over here, it's the pounded uh, veal cutlet, pounded real thin, and it's essentially kind of French frying in a half a stick of, or a whole stick of margarine. And you have to keep turning these over and over and over, and they're going to get real pretty here in a minute. This sure does and smell our, good. Oh boy, this uh, sauerkraut is fabulous over here. It's amazing to have something that can smell as bad in a can it, uh, smells as good as it, this does while it's cooking. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait. And these uh, schnitzels are just, look at these, Blair. They're getting real pretty and crinkly gold around the edge. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at that baby. Look at that. You can see it it's, if, if it works out right. You may want to take a look at that. It kind of floats around a little bit. It's so light. Isn't that pretty? And we'll brown it on one side and then we'll flip it over. That's what we'll do. It's, it's getting nice and fat and it smells so good. I'll cover it back up for a couple of seconds here. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to now throw in some pieces of lemon on top of these things so that some of the lemon uh, essence can get into the, the margarine in this. This is a very, very fattening dish. Well, now, there does seem to be a lot of lemon being used in these recipes. Yes. Is that, is that uh... Well, it's because a lot of uh, German food is heavy. It's very heavy. And uh, the lemon helps kind of lighten it up a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger uh -huh. and bigger. Now, when do you reckon I turn it over? Oh, I don't. It's, pick it up on the edge and see if it's. Oh, oh it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's almost. Oh, look there. at that! It's so fluffy. I can't get over it. It is just so fluffy. Of course, mm -hmm. I had a dog that was fluffy. Oh, I remember her. Fluffy, fluffy. Not the dog. to mention that cat. Fluffy the dog. I got to get something out here to serve these on. Mm. No, I mean to take them over on. Everyone got real nervous. They didn't know what I meant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's all you do with these. Just uh, brown them on both sides. Oh, boy, that's They pretty. should be. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Let me just take one out. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's it that is way beautiful. on both sides. Isn't that pretty? And just keep that stuff real hot like that. I'll swear I've never done this before this very minute and I didn't know whether it was going to work or not. Why does this stove want to keep going downhill today? Would you tell me that? Well, maybe I it's got a flat whole, tire back there. I believe here. the whole thing is setting crooked today. I or can't handle it. maybe the station is at last falling into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right on down. I'm making them nice and big, one nice big one for each of us. And boy, they smell good. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Cover it up so that it steams a little bit while it's doing that. Well, Maybe this one has done gone flat on me. May they only stay fluffy for a few minutes. For a few minutes. Maybe we ought to call in the recipes and take a look at those oh, okay. while we're doing it. Let's do see the recipes. German pancakes. Well, I tell you, if these are as good as they smell, four beaten egg yolks, two tablespoons of cornstarch, quarter cup of warm milk, quarter of cup of uh, warm water, half teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of sugar, grated rind of one entire lemon. Put that in a little hot margarine on top of the stove and partially cover it and brown it on each side. That's it. Now for the Wiener schnitzel, you need a pound and a half of veal cutlets, uh, a stick to a stick and a half of margarine, lemon slices and anchovies, and a uh, very simple, easy, quick dish. And for the sauerkraut, you need uh, a couple of tablespoons of margarine, a half a cup of sliced onions, a quart of sauerkraut, a medium apple grated, 
some brown sugar and some caraway seeds, and that's all you need for the sauerkraut dish. And it's coming along beautifully too, Dr. Bly. And you cook the sauerkraut, incidentally, uncut. Oh, look at that. Look at this one. This one has just gotten real big, real fluffy, real tall. Look at that thing. Fabulous. Oh, Ooh, that you, is so look at pretty. That, look at that baby puff that up in the pan. That is just gorgeous. Now, what the ideal way to serve this would be to have people standing right by your stove ready to get right. one as you take it mm -hmm. and throw it over on, the, on their uh, plate. Well, how's that come along Well, the Venus schnitzel is doing beautifully, and I'm getting ready to... I put some lemon slices on here to garnish. Now, now what are you going to do? You're not going to ruin it with that dead fish, are you? Sure. Ooh. Uh, uh, you, that's all right. You, you don't have to do that on mine. Bly, we're going to be authentic, and you're going to have an anchovy. They're well, lady, lady, so you, you don't good have for to you. do that for me. I know it's very thoughtful of oh, you. Oh, I know. I appreciate it, but uh, but uh, you don't have to. Where is uh, Miss Witch? Well, I don't know. She got loose last week and never came back. <laughs> And this week, she probably is not even She's here at all. She's real loose. she get real huffy. Won't come back. Probably. Oh, here she is. Come here, honey. At least. Yeah. Uh, I got another cake coming off here, so I got to be minute. careful. Ooh. Well, Ooh. my dear, she can do some kinky things with this nose. What's she done? You know, well, it, just if you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, all right. Well, is she whispering out. to you? Is she signifying yeah. to you? Oh, what? Here she comes. Well, I can't believe what she just said. What'd she say? The, the sisters cook have hit out for Hungary. Oh no! You know they're mm, mm, mm. what? They're into all those. Did you uh, just pop one of those fish in there, those mm -mm. anchovies in your mouth? Oh, a little piece of veal. I bet you'd eat one of those raw, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Whole. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, right now. The whole thing. Let me blot a little bit. I am the going oil. to get sick. Ready, gang? Mm, 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 mm. Heaven, heaven, heaven. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm, mm. No one will ever be able to stand to kiss him for the rest of the day. Not that anybody was, well, anyway. Well, I swear he says some of the awful things. I was things. just kidding. And you know me, I would never lay anybody out like that. <laughs> now, ha let me get over here and see I'm if I can find I'm having so it. much fun with these cakes. They're just so much fun. They're just so light and frothy and wonderful. I just can't get over these things. But let me show you something. <laughs> they go flat instantly. But, of course, that doesn't mean they're no good anymore. It just means they're not just real fluffy like they were when you first throw them out there because they're about three inches thick. You can see that, how thick they are. Look at that, real thick. But they don't stay that way very long, and that lemony smell. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? So aromatic, heaven, so wonderful. Heaven, heaven. Well, I guess it's time to get this show over uh -huh. to the other side of the thing here. And I'm draining out some of this. Uh, this will eventually cook down, the sauerkraut. If you cook it for about 30 minutes, a lot of the juice will evaporate, leaving the distilled essence Ooh, of the it glory. It does smell good. It does, it does smell good. Oh, yes. Do we have any confectioner sugar to sprinkle on it? I don't know. Let me check. Let's see of the cup of... I'm, oh, I can't wait to get into this anchovy. Mm, mm, mm. You've already had yeah, one. It, I know. We, there we go. We've got some. One if it has bold weevils in it. Oh, not sugar. Confectioner sugar won't get bold weevils in it. Mm. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, you know that's going to mm -hmm. be good. You know it is. Well, I'm going to just Here, have one. Oh, boy. That's the way they used to serve well, them at home. They'd just flop them on your plate. Mm, mm. Well, let me try a sliver of it. Let me just uh, try this. Uh, oh. Is it good? Oh. Well, gee, Larry, you took the anchovy off your... Um, oh, but the flavor has gone through. Oh, uh-huh. Mm. Oh, great. Is it good? Mm, mm, mm. Those seeds, those um, caraway, caraway seeds, seeds are so good in that. They really are. Mm -hmm. And yes, if you want me to, I'll put the thing back. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, what are these pancakes like? They're outstanding. Well, I've never tasted anything quite like it. Mmm. This is a wonderful meal. 
It is outstanding. And for those of you that are fond of caraway seeds, you might remember that. Oh, I love them. Who was it? Uh, Fred Allen once said that somebody's heart would fit in a flea's navel and still have room for two caraway seeds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next so week, there. folks. Bye-bye. If you're a fan of cooking cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.